I think anyone who sat in this office will tell you there's no such thing as a normal day in the uh, life of a president because too many things can come up that interfere with what your day was planned to be like. But it's everything from meeting with people on a regular basis, meeting with committees, meeting with various groups of your administration, and then lots of telephone calls, lots of paperwork, and most of all, trying to deal with people in a positive way to represent this college. It is a blessing and a privilege to be able to serve in this capacity. So I would say every day is exciting because you never know what's coming. I would have to say I don't know that there are huge differences between the students when I was a student here and the students today in terms of their general approach to life. We're Christians. We're trying our best to serve the Lord and our commitment is to Him. So I think they're basically the same in that regard. The differences, of course, would be in terms of the backgrounds and all the things and conveniences that are available to us today. And the expertise that these young people bring in computers and IT areas, which we didn't have back in my day. But otherwise, I think there are many, many similarities. Well, this president eats um, some pretty special food because I'm trying my best to stay healthy. So I eat uh, normally a Juice Plus shake sprinkled with brewer's yeast. Then I have a handful of vitamins. My father is 97 years old doing great mentally, physically, and every other way, so I'm following his footsteps. I eat a handful of vitamins recommended by him and my dear wife. I would say the biggest challenge has been looking the, at the bigger picture, looking at the broader picture, realizing that you are directly responsible to many more constituents uh, than I was in my other roles though it was pretty broad based as vice president and academic dean. This is much broader. And so I've thoroughly enjoyed the challenge of uh, broadening my vistas and learning how to deal with a board of directors, how to deal with all the various constituents inside and outside the college. That's been the biggest challenge, but also the biggest uh, excitement and thrill for me. I think my wife would tell you my hobbies are just keep working. But uh, I love playing certain kinds of games. We have a ping pong table at my house. And I'm anxious to get back into that a little more than I have in the past because that's a favorite sport of mine. And it doesn't take a whole lot of time and effort outside the house. So that's, that's fun. I love playing chess when I get a chance, backgammon, other kinds of board games. But uh, there's a whole lot of time for that, but I try to fit them in wherever I can. I would say the book of Philippians is a favorite book of mine because the apostle deals with challenging times in his own life and yet handles it in such a wonderfully devoted way to the Lord and he puts everything in the context of his service to the Lord and the one thing that matters. So I think that book would be my favorite. When I first spoke at uh, the inauguration ceremony, I built it around the theme of a college whose education is built on the rock. And I'd have to say my main concern about a legacy would be to leave this college as nearly founded upon the original principles upon what it was based as it was when it began. I want us to improve in every way we can without changing who we are. Frankly, I would hate for any young person who cares about the Lord and His Word and His work to miss this opportunity. We all understand that it's not necessary for a young person to come here in order to go to heaven, to be acceptable to God, but what an opportunity at this vital stage in life to be influenced by people all around you who are academically well qualified, but who love the Lord and love serving Him and who put everything they do in the context of being his children and of being interested in others being his children, especially their students. We're delighted you're watching our YouTube channel and we hope we've learned you've learned some things through this opportunity that'll tell you a little more about our school. It's a wonderful place. We hope you come and join us.